Hey everybody, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to relocate the rear backup camera on a uh, Jeep Renegade. Um, I have the 2018 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure uh, that all of the uh, 2015 to 2020 model year uh, Renegades are going to be the exact same process. If not, it's going to be a slightly different to a point where you're not even going to really notice much of a difference. Uh, but basically all I did was I took the... Um, backup camera from where the uh, license plate area is um, and moved it up to the uh, third brake light area and that little spoiler up there. Um, I just popped it up there um, below that brake light. And so this is going to be good for anybody that bought the uh, Avid uh, rear tire carrier bumper. I bought one and I didn't get the harness kit. I don't know if they sell one. I'm pretty sure they said they were going to. Uh, I never received that. I didn't want to pay for one. Uh, so I did this pretty much on the cheap. Um, almost free, minus the cost of uh, some two-part epoxy. Uh, so basically the tools you'll probably need, um, th these are what I used. It, it basically just an 8 mil socket, a 10 mil socket, um, like a Milwaukee tool to just zip them in, um, and a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver, and a rotary tool, so like a Dremel. I don't think I said that already. If I did, sorry. But yeah, so not a lot of tools. Um, and then a two-part epoxy, which... That was the only thing I had to buy. Uh, my, my buddy actually had a little bit laying around that he didn't need, so I just used that. Uh, if you don't have it, it's maybe five to 10 bucks. Um, and then some clear RTV, which is that's another thing most people just have kind of sitting around. Um, you don't need it. I just use the RTV to seal up a, a gasket, or a, a, the, basically the, the grommet at the back where all the wires come through, I just used to seal it up just to be extra safe. Um, so here we go. First of all, you're gonna have to pop off your trim cover. Um, to do that, inside of the handle area, there's a single Phillips head screw that's in there. You can just pop that guy out, and then I do this with any trim piece. If you get a good handle on it, you can kind of reach up inside of it and pull and just pop it hard. So I popped on this side first, popped it on this side second. Um, and then you can kind of pull it down from in, in sections and just kind of pull hard. Um, that pops all these little uh, trim piece holders, the Christmas trees as we call them. Um, it'll pop those out. Uh, some of them might get stuck, um, which if they do, you can usually just stick your hand behind there and kind of pop them back out. Uh, might be a little difficult, but there we go. There we go. I got it out. Um, yeah, so it'll pop out. So you can go ahead and just take it if it's still intact and just slide it back into place. And all of them are like that. So you can just slide them back in so you can put it back on later. All right. And then it looks like we've got two other um, bolts here and, or screws, I guess I should say, in here um, that'll hold in this whole trim piece here. Um, so you should be able to remove that one, that one, and then just be able to pop that one out too, just like you did the other one. Yep, so that's right, you can just pop that guy right out. So once you get that out, um, it gives you access to the bolts. Um, and from what I can see, it looks like we got one, two, three, four. And I believe those four bolts hold on your, um, your little spoiler here which is where we want to move that camera to so we can actually see over the tire. Yep, so those are just uh, 10 mil bolts. Um, I don't know if you can really see it very well inside there or not, but there, there is a bolt that goes right here. Um, so all you need is your 10 mil ratchet or socket and go ahead and pop her off. So then you're gonna have two more bolts. We've got one here, one here. Those are just 10 mils also. You just pop off that grommet. You should be able to just pop it off with your fingers. Just like that. And you can see it's right inside there. There's two bolts. You should be able to just zip them off. This part's going to be a little difficult. Um, there's going to be five plastic trim pieces uh, holding that, that guy in. Um, basically what I did is I just got onto the edge of it and pried up. Uh, you're probably going to break some of them because they are those plastic Christmas trees. But I just kind of grabbed here and popped up um, and then when you get in there 
you're gonna have a little disconnect here that you can pop off your windshield washer fluid hose and you've got an electrical disconnect right in here that goes to your uh, brake light. Um, you can pop those two out and the whole thing should just come off as one piece. Um, so that spoiler comes off all in one piece. All right, so the next part, we're gonna be popping out this reverse cam. Um, so if you go inside your hood or in your, uh, your latch right here area, you've got your electrical disconnect here. You're gonna to wanna to pop that off. Um, and then you got one screw in here as well, which holds that camera in. So you can pop that out as well and get those wires out of the way. And then this is gonna be the black trim piece that holds the camera inside there. So I found the easiest way to pop that little guy out. Just get a little flathead screwdriver underneath uh, this part right here. Um, and just kind of lift up and then pull with your other hand to pull that, that coaxial cable out of there. And it should come out pretty easy. So this was the, uh, the fun part. Um, there it goes, you can see the wire. So basically I just took the uh, coax cable that plugs into your um, your backup camera. Um, I took all of this um, shielding or sheathing, whatever you want to call it, off. Um, separate it from these wires. Um, be very careful when you do that. You don't want to slice into the wire. I kind of nicked mine a little bit uh, up here a little. So I'm going to have to repair that properly. Um, probably just do a quick splice on those. Make them look look good and neat and that way I know for sure I didn't uh, mess any of this up but yeah so you're gonna want to split those wires and basically my plan with this is I'm gonna with all this extra length that I've gotten out of this wire I'm probably gonna just do a little quick fold somewhere in this area um, and then that way you can route your um, camera plug up through here and you're gonna have enough to basically pop it through um, the underside of this, which that comes out where your um, rear brake light comes out. And so you should be able to just plug it in there. And my plan is to modify the back of the spoiler here. Um, I'm gonna try and make it as center as possible. Um, basically just cut a hole in here, uh, pop back in the camera mount or trim piece, whatever you want to call that. Um, so it should basically just sit right up in this area here um, so that you'll be able to see over the tire so it'll clear um, when you're done with that. Uh, so I'll just kind of give a quick overview of what I've done here. Um, I've got my um, wires all electrically taped back up. Um, just to kind of protect those guys um, being routed through here. So basically what happened is you started here with your coax uh, that goes to the camera. Um, and there were a couple other wires that were um, over here, I believe, is kind of how they, they sat through here. Pop that off. Cut them off of this and this. Um, that, that cloth uh, sh shield or sheathing. Um, popped it out of this one cut it off of this one, um, and then I disconnected this just to um, protect the uh, uh, rear defrost. Um, so you pop that out, and then basically I, I just pulled it back all the way to about there. Um, and so I re-wrapped all these guys, and so that way I can um, attach them back in there where they were, um, and get those nice and clean, tidy. And then I can route this guy um, to your camera, the actual cable for that, up through here. So that hopefully I have enough length just right there. If not, I'll cut it back a little bit more, uh, maybe to where this breaks off. But I didn't want to have it all right there. Um, it, it might get a little bulky. So see how it goes. Before I forget, I ended up having to pull this out a little bit further. Um, the connector I couldn't really get it to reach because of the width of the um, the little spoiler guy. Um, I ended up having to pull it out. Um, it's about about a foot, maybe 
maybe like 16 inches. Um, and so I just pulled it back um, to about here so that I'll be able to tuck it up here. You don't want to have too much of a um, bend. You, you want to have a, a decent little bend radius on it because it is kind of a fragile line. Um, and then I'll do the same thing that I did before. Throw the zip lines or zip ties back on here, hold it in, and should be good to go. So be before beginning all the uh, the fab work up here, uh, I forgot to mention that there are two bolts to get the brake lights out. Uh, it's going to be two 8 mils. Um, so you can see the one here and this guy here. And both of those are going to have these little um, cups to go in um, around um, the... Um, the insert there um, before putting on your 8 mil bolt. So then the next part, um, this was probably the most um, difficult part, was trying to cut a hole into the spoiler to pop your camera fixture into. Um, I got mine pretty lined up. It's not 100% even, which is probably going to me in the butt here but it's there at least I'll be able to see um, I could have spent a little more time making it even I probably should have but um, if you uh, basically what I did is I took a, a piece of paper um, drew the uh, dimensions um, just kind of took a pencil and sketched on the the pencil to see what the actual dimensions of the hole were um, and then placed that on here and just made a square out of it instead of um, messing around with it being um, with that little indent up here in this area. Um, yeah, so I cut it out, pop it in, we'll see how it goes. So I've got this kind of all squared off and taken care of. Um, if you look down here, I had to do quite a bit of uh, fabrication work. Um, there used to be like a a little support um, kind of like this the, the little cutouts I had to cut them out uh, if you can see down here I don't know if you can really see it too well or not but you can kind of see the screws back there to the camera I just kind of divoted out the uh, um, the plastic here so that it, if it really comes down to it I can still get a um, screwdriver in there to pop the camera out um, because what I ended up doing is I actually just used a two-part epoxy on the plastic case. Um, I kind of couldn't get it to sit in there right, um, so if you guys have the same issue, uh, it'll probably be easier to just do what I did. Um, this two-part epoxy is actually already starting to set. It's been about three minutes. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to come out of there, which is nice. Don't want it to come out on the expressway. <laughs> um, you can kind of see it's a little crooked for me. Um, that was just because I didn't really do my due diligence to making sure the lines were straight and parallel when I was cutting. I just kind of used that little square there as a guide and came down and cut. And as you can see, it's not perfectly straight. Uh, if you're kind of looking at it from up above, it's going to cock a little bit to the left, I think it is. Yeah, I think left. So. Be careful of that. And in addition, before I forget, um, I threw some clear RTV on this guy. Um, doesn't look the best, but it's just there to seal up that hole because I had to cut the little grommet um, in order to get my cable through there for the camera. So the way I have it kind of set up to make it easy for me to get in here, um, I did forget to mention, I kind of divot it out right here. Um, and then on where the camera is, there's a little section right about uh, right here. Um, when you when you hook up the camera, you'll kind of see where it is. Um, I, I kind of rounded it out a little bit like this. Not too much, because um, I didn't want it to extend out past right here. Um, but I did divot that out so that I could get the plug back there and have it sit nice and flush. So now that I've got them all plugged back in, I got the hose tucked back, I got the brake light plugged in and the camera is plugged in now I can go ahead and set it down and 
looks nice and pretty pretty much centered. So now we got her all padded down. Uh, I haven't actually bolted it down yet, um, but those those five things, I, I broke three of them. I've got two basically that are actually holding this in and it's still holding it pretty well. Um, once I run it up and finish, um, I'll put the rest of the bolts on in the interior, but let's go ahead and start her up and see what this camera looks like. So to do this, uh, I just pop my uh, parking brake on. Um, that way I can just throw her into reverse. And there she goes. You can actually see it's it's pretty centered. I mean, it, you can see it's kind of cocked a little bit to the left, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's usable. And now that I can move my tire carrier back down, we'll pop this guy over. And we'll see how it looks in there. All right, so it's still in the way. You can still see that it's in the view, but now you can at least see with the backup camera, which is the important part. I couldn't see anything with the backup camera. Couldn't tell if there was anything behind me before. Now that I can actually see, um, makes it a lot different. It's awesome to have that. So um, now I'm gonna just put everything back together the way we took it apart and we should be good to go. So we've got our four 10 mils, one, two, three, four. So easiest way I found, got a little Milwaukee with an extended uh, 10 mil. Just kind of use it to get it lined up and zip it in. And I already put the other one in, but. Good to go. And the last two 10 mil spots are gonna be where those grommets were. So here on the left side, and a little out of focus. Here on the right side, you can see where that grommet was, right up in there. So, and those are just these bolts here. I'm gonna zip those in. So, same thing I did with the other ones. Just get it on that extended 10 mil to get, give yourself some room and And that's why I use the extended one. And there she goes, she's in. And the other side. Good to go. That's all four of them. And the two. Awesome. Don't forget to pop your grommets back on. I should just kinda Pop in there, boom, and like so, boom, good to go. So on this part, just be kind of careful. Um, gonna want to make sure you, when you're popping it in, um, you're actually covering these wires over here. Um, that wire that you ran back over here, you want to make sure that it's flush. Make sure your guy over here, the uh, defrost is connected and. Um, and then don't forget about these two bolts on either side that, that get plugged in right in. I think it's right here. Oh, yeah, right there, the white. Yep. Took a little finagling to get this right side in, um, but I got it. I kind of had to force it down right here to get it to kind of line up um, here. It's probably not going to actually pop in very much because there's a guide pin and then the actual Christmas tree trim piece that there's the two pieces that pop in like that. Uh, we, or at least I, used a, a zip tie right there to hold the cable in there. Um, so if it doesn't go in, don't feel bad. It, I mean, it's, it's sitting there. The guide kind of sits in there, I think, and that helps it. And it doesn't feel like it's coming out of there. I think it actually went in and... It did, I didn't hear a pop. Um, if you don't hear a pop, it might actually still gone in. It's just kind of a pain. And same thing, I'm gonna use a Milwaukee again to zip these screws in that go right here. So There she goes. All right, so this side, um, I didn't record me zipping it in, but I had to kind of 
push down a little bit this way towards the front of the vehicle on this part I just kind of held it like this and then zipped it in with my right hand because it didn't really want to line up perfectly so I pushed on it to get it to sit and now it sits nice and flush the same thing um, pretty easy I couldn't really get myself filming uh, or couldn't film myself getting it on but basically you just line up the holes and pop it up some of them might pop off got to go in there readjust pop them back in um, some of them will break that's inevitable these things aren't meant to go on and off a bunch of times like um, people do so uh, but yeah it's sitting in there and then this is your last bolt and then that's it all right so this is what the finished product looks like with it all patched up um, forgot to mention but make sure you give yourself at least like a, a half inch of um, room on when you're actually cutting the hole you want it to be about a half inch off of the uh, back of the um, spoiler because if not you're gonna hit the glass uh, mine was perfect like it just has enough room to get in there you can see on either side so just a heads up that's it for you guys um, it was kind of a pain in the butt um, doing the actual fab work um, so the actual getting the uh, uh, camera set up um, you know just cutting out all that crap I think that was the hardest part of this whole um, relocation camera reloca relocation um, but yeah so if you guys have any questions any comments concerns um, if you guys want me to elaborate on something in another video um, or you want me to do something else uh, I'm always looking for suggestions I'm building up my uh, my renegade so uh, that's it thank you guys for watching and following me along in this really weird journey of me trying to figure this crap out and I uh, hope you guys have a great one